Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, staying in the center of the program keeps us humble, sober, spiritually fit, and happy. October 14th, thought for the day. How big a part of my life is Alcoholics Anonymous? Is it just one of my activities and a small one at that? Do I only go to AA meetings now and then and sometimes never go at all? Do I think of AA only occasionally? Am I reticent about mentioning the subject of AA to people who might need help? Or does AA fill a large part of my life? Is it the foundation of my whole life? Where would I be without AA? Does everything I have and do depend on my AA foundation? Is AA the foundation on which I build my life? Meditation for the day. Lay upon God your failures and mistakes and shortcomings. Do not dwell upon your failures, upon the fact that in the past you have been nearer a beast than an angel. You have a mediator between you and God, your growing faith, which can lift you up from the mire and point you toward the heavens. You can still be reconciled with the Spirit of God. You can regain your harmony with the divine principle of the universe. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not let the beast in me hold me back from my spiritual destiny. I pray that I may rise and walk upright. Alcoholics Anonymous saved our lives from an awful alcoholic death. We stay sober by living the principles of the steps in our daily lives. The 12-step process results in a spiritual awakening that removes our character defects and redirects our thinking from selfishness to selflessness. That is a quick description of the program. There are many intricacies and details that matter a lot when we get down to the nitty-gritty and do the work. Outsiders often say AA is a cult because they lose their old drinking buddies and they resent the program instead of looking at themselves. Real alcoholics like us who got sober by following the suggestions are grateful for our sobriety knowing we couldn't do it on our own and don't want to lose the gift. Some of us get sober and believe they don't need the program any longer. Mission accomplished, they think. Those of us who stay and give back to the newcomers love giving, and we receive by paying it forward. We stay sober, and more importantly, we are happier than ever when we stay engaged. When we get busy with other things in life, when life calls and we prioritize making money, a new relationship, or a job, we usually wake up one day realizing we are restless, irritable, and discontented. We may not have taken a drink yet, but we haven't been enlarging our spiritual life and are closer to that drink than we may realize. Having been to hell and come back to live free from the alcoholic obsession, we've received the rewards of new thinking and a faith in a higher power. The miracle has happened for us, and we want to share that with all who need it. We are not embarrassed, but we are not preachers. We know it is a program of attraction, not promotion. We feel the best when we are on the AA beam, practicing the principles in all our affairs, praying and meditating to improve our conscious contact with our higher power. Nothing, nothing is more important or interesting to us. Anything we put in front of our life-saving program, we will eventually lose. We don't regret our past, nor wish to shut the door on it. We use our past, some of the horrible things we did and thought, 
to help others understand we were just like them and have found the solution to the same problem that they are suffering from currently, because we did it too. The satisfying feeling we get by being of service to others in sobriety is a shocking, pleasant surprise we did not expect. And now we never want to lose the opportunities, so we stay active in the rooms. Consider, staying in the center of the program keeps us humble, sober, spiritually fit, and happy. October 14th, thought for the day. How big a part of my life is Alcoholics Anonymous? Is it just one of my activities and a small one at that? Do I only go to AA meetings now and then and sometimes never go at all? Do I think of AA only occasionally? Am I reticent about mentioning the subject of AA to people who might need help? Or does AA fill a large part of my life? Is it the foundation of my whole life? Where would I be without AA? Does everything I have and do depend on my AA foundation? Is AA the foundation on which I build my life? Meditation for the day. Lay upon God your failures and mistakes and shortcomings. Do not dwell upon your failures, upon the fact that in the past you have been nearer a beast than an angel. You have a mediator between you and God, your growing faith, which can lift you up from the mire and point you toward the heavens. You can still be reconciled with the Spirit of God. You can regain your harmony with the divine principle of the universe. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may not let the beast in me hold me back from my spiritual destiny. I pray that I may rise and walk upright. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.